Shalewa, yeah. I think you should try this one. Look. Showing too much cleavage. I thought you were going for sexy look now. Yeah, I'm actually going for a sexy, classy, not ratchet. This is in love and hip hop. Please stop watching all those stupid shows. Tiwa, you actually need to watch Love and Hip Hop. Like, for real. It will teach you how to deal with that Zena baby in your office or, yeah, whatever. Hadiza. Whatever. Like, when she's talking, you call her for lunch. As she's just talking, you pour a drink on her face, you know, you jump on the table, you know, and finish her. End off. So it's teaching you to be violent? No. It's actually teaching you to go for your enemies and destroy them. Oh, it's Nathan. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for the other nights. Thanks for inviting me. I had a great time. So what's up? Well, I think I've made my choice. Choice? What choice? Well, I wasn't going to before because I thought there might not be a chance. But after your birthday, what the hell? Will you go have dinner with me? W what? Dinner? Yes, you know, I dress nice, you dress nice. I come pick you up, open the door, we eat, laugh, depending on how the rest of the night goes. Kiss. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it too... Unless you see no reason why we should try. No, dinner sounds great. Good. So, this Friday at 7pm? 7pm. Yep. Yeah. Tia, please now. Please what? Like, what cream, what soap, what are you using? Give me. What are you on about? Like... How can all these men be all over you and I'm just here? Like, what is the secret, please? Mommy's prayers. She has to pray for me. In fact, she has to go and call her like that. Because I don't understand how I'm here looking for sexy outfits to go and wear a woman and you're here getting them in pyjamas. You have to tell me what you're doing. No? What's the secret? Just be simple. I'm going to start using your bathroom, your soap, your cream, in fact, your makeup. What different shades? Who likes skin don't help? Shalewa, you know you're gorgeous. Utiwa, I still don't get the kind of men that you get. You do. <laughs> Trust me, you do. Me? Half of the guys that end up liking me. I never really like them back. I mean, aside color. You can tell, now see my situation with Femi. See how things ended because we rushed into things. So, with Mohammed, like, what do you think I should do? Should I, like, try and build a relationship with him? Or, like, you know, go for the kill? Mm -mm. I feel like you should just take things easy. First of all, start by wearing a simple dress. Get to know him. Take things slow. Size him up a bit first. So, basically, you're saying I should be patient. Exactly. I really like it when I have all this system with so Shalewa. Like when she listens, like really listens to me. Make me feel like a good big sister. Because it's easy to give advice. It's one other thing to take it. So do you think I should accessorize? Hell, yes. So you're going to wear really bad and some good for you. Go and take it. Really? <laughs> Fake no. Uh-uh, why? You touch that bag, eh? Small bag, you're holding on to it as if it's your real jewels or something. I beg. Go and buy your own. You can you afford the you that you have it? Just ruined a perfectly good sister moment. Auntie Dupsy. How far? A dancing. Mm -hmm. So what is this um, thing about um, being single? And even myself, I'm confused. The last time we spoke, um, there was someone in the picture. <laughs> Femi. Yeah. So that one is old news, though. I went from that to almost dating my boss. This relationship thing, it's not easy, Auntie. Tell me about it. Is that why you never got married? Well, I never married because 
When I had the chance, I took work over it. And by the time I had realized it, my chance I had married with kids to someone who seized the opportunity. I had hoped to find someone else, but um, every birthday hope dwindled. I had never been so lonely. See, it's a different thing if I never wanted to be married, but I, I, I did. I, I wanted it all. Great career, good husband, wonderful kids, the mansions. But um, when it was time for me to choose, I chose. So do you, do you think you made the wrong decision? Yes, but don't you ever tell your mother. <sighs> I wish I had said yes when he asked me. Loneliness isn't fun. So Tiwa, take the opportunities. That's tough. I know. See, you have to be very happy. Because happiness is the best choice. Hmm? Yes. So, um, who is this new guy you're going on a date with? He's an old schoolmate. Mm -hmm. So, darling, we have to get you new things. Yells. Go to the mall and do some shopping. Yells. I know you like that. Mm -hmm. See ya. Hmm. Sometimes I truly believe that Nigeria is just here to frustrate you. To just tear down every humane in you. Hmm. For the past three months now, I've been trying to sort out my passport. Long story, while we were moving houses, my passport got lost. I tried to get a new one. I was told that I could only get a new one in Abuja. I start to begin the process of getting a new one. I've been going up and down. Fill this form, sign this form, go to this person, this department, that department. I finally run into a guy who says he can do it for me. At an additional cost of... 70,000 Naira. Hello, is money growing in the tree? It's bad enough as it is that we as Nigerians are suffering. But that's even to get my passport as a citizen. Haba. Have you guys ever been frustrated with just the Nigerian process? Be it trying to get your passport or the other day, for example, my friend tried to change her name. She recently got married. The process of changing your name is horrendous. Please call in and let me know. The gist with Tiwa. We have a caller on the line. Hello. This is Emma from Anthony Village. Hi, Emma. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I just recently got my driver's license after nearly four months of waiting. I was so frustrated. See, if you ever try to get your license without any connection whatsoever, you will nearly die of frustration. Man, Emma, trust me, I feel you. Let's not let this, our country and economy, kill our pride in who we are. Take heart. Eh? Thank you. As well. If there's anyone else who has any opinions or anything to share, do call in the gist with Tiwa. <laughs> nice. But don't you think the topic could get us in trouble with the government? Why would it? <laughs> you basically call the government incompetent. Isn't it? Henceforth, you will discuss your show topics with me before you go on air, and I will approve it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for Auntie Adiza, the actress. This girl wants to frustrate me. Tiwa, breathe. It's like you don't know your job description. Because it is just temporary. Head of programs, temporary. So, because it is temporary, I shouldn't carry out my duties in making sure this station sounds sublime. No, no, you can carry out your duties, but that's it. Your duties. Don't do extra. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you won't. How would you know now? You're slow. Eh? Yes, you heard me. Slow. Name one positive thing you have done in the station since you started working here. Name one. What value have you added? Is that you caused malice? Chaos? You've been vengeful? See, let me warn you. If you're not careful, I will finish you. <laughs> wow. And still, I make the rules here, not you. I don't care. And I'm telling you, I will not share my topics with you. What would you do? I know what to do. I am going to report you to the GM to handle your case personally. 
Of course, now that's all you can do. You think you're the teacher's pet? No, 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 no. You're an ass kisser. Kiss ass. That's what you are. And as long as I am head, I can make you do whatever I want, Tiwa. And if I have to kiss ass, then so be it. And I'm you telling will you to me that I will never, ever. So get it into your thick skull. <laughs> Are you... Tiwa! Did you see what she did? She slapped me! It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, alright. On her behalf, I apologize, okay? Alright? I will buy you lunch. Hey. I will buy you lunch just to show you how sorry she is. Alright? It's alright, we'll sort this out later. Come, come. Adiza, come on here. Come on! Hey, hey, I said Keep stop! Talking. You are locking me this Stop time. it! What's wrong with you two? I will we'll sort this out later, okay? Alright, sorry, yeah? Are you alright? Is it too late to Are still... you alright? I'm fine. Is it too late? Hey! Late? What the hell do you think you're doing? You want to fight her? You want to beat her up? For what? Is it too late to still take the head of program's position? Tiwa. Is it too late? Can I or not? Yes, you can. But I will not be interfering until you prove yourself to Kate. You cannot take up the position because you want to show her. Do you hear me? And as your acting MD, all I can do is approve what your GM requests. So if she approves it, is it can I get it? Yes. And then it's a deal. What's wrong with you? You're so feisty today. You're usually in control of your emotions, but what is going on? I was in a good one until that brat came and spoiled it. Relax, okay? All right? Hmm? What are you doing here anyways? I um, forgot a few things in my office, so I thought I'll come get them and also run into you. Ooh. All right. Smile, okay? This is not a big deal. Hmm? Can you hear me? So why did you want to run into me? I am sorry for what happened. I wasn't sure how you would take uh, me telling everyone else how I felt about you. It's fine. All right. Yeah. You look nice today. Okay, you know what? I'll make it up to you. All right, what are you doing tonight? I actually have a date. With your boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just going to have drinks. <sighs> sure. Have drinks, have fun. And uh, make sure you don't rip that dress again. All right? I promise you that this guy really frustrates me. He just really, really, really just gets under my skin. Hey, honey bunny. How was it? How was what? Good evening, mommies. Uh -huh, daddy. The date. She went on a date. Ah. Hey, ah. With the uh, media B. Ah, that is good. Oh. It's high time you start dating, you know. Oh, 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 my two thirty. I'm going to What you marry? What you marry? What you be my father? What you be my man, Papa? It was with Nathan. Who? I'm a Pedro. Ah, that's why I didn't want to tell you. So judgmental. Let me talk. Let me talk to my daughter. My daughter. It's not me, Daddy. Me talk to me. It's not like that. Eh ah. Eh, okay, I'm not complaining, no. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Let them come. They come and go. Eh? As many as they are, so that you can choose one. Eh, but sorry, omo, omo ni kani. Ah, she kere wo wa lo wo lo wo ba be peni. And he's a very good boy. Oma oma born on some mobile and he can see what la la la. I don't know about that. So is she okay? So that, take your time. Don't rush into anything, okay? That was how some people took their time and they did not find husband to marry. Mommy! Kill me. And see me, if you miss it, if you miss it, at least I have money. Well, let them go to it. I mean, yeah. Hey, Jare, I'm going to see you. When are you going to see him again? I'm not sure, Mommy. Was it not nice? It was okay, like, we had a good time, but I just felt like there was something missing. 
Like, you know when you're trying to start something fresh, but you just keep feeling like, I don't understand. I just didn't feel any spark. Can you hear me? I'm not even sure myself, mommy. Wah, 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 Shake ya, shake ya. Mofe, she wedi no. Ben, sister. Hey, you better don't push these girls into making a wrong decision. Let me push her into wrong decision, no, daddy. Ah, they will love each other and get married. Mm -mm. They will find someone to make them happy. Then they will marry. Uh -huh. ah. Is it not the same thing I am saying? Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. eh. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Because I'm not married, Abby. Mm. You know the funny thing about this two? They actually love each other very much. But mommy's marriage, 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 and a lack of filter, that doesn't help. And to do better is actually a very nice person. She just needs to find someone that will love her for who she is. To be honest, the date was nice. Nathan is a nice guy. We had good bands, we laughed, we caught up, but... I just kept on thinking about me day. <laughs> like if both of us went on this date together. But I don't think it would have been this great. I think he's already wearing, or I'm already wearing off. What? If I want some pounded yam and a for you again, when is the earliest time you can make some? Am I your cook? Don't make me call your mother, Tiwaladi. Hmm. I like how you think she's your ally. I'll make friends with whoever I can to eat some more food. So, how was your date? It was splendid. Nothing ripped, and I came back home with every stitch intact. <laughs> Good girl. Now all we need to do is find the BMR to attack the other one, huh? You little... <laughs> this boy's trying to frustrate me. I come here because I love you and I love your kids. Like, they're mine. It's okay. Sister, I beg of you to not force Tiwa to make sacrifices like you did. You found love in your marriage quite alright. Let her find love that will lead to marriage. <laughs> 